Hey everyone, welcome to the Windows Are Gone. The description on Steam was pretty interesting and I'm surprised I haven't really heard from this game. I haven't really seen any of my YouTuber friends play it, so I figured we'd check it out. Also, just this title screen alone is so stylish. If you don't do anything, if you Id leave it idle, the text disappears and then it just shows the house. But yeah, I'm a sucker for haunted houses. That's all I need. Let's go. And good sounds, yes. In my dreams, I see this house. I see this town, Silent Hill. Mm. It's a very loud game. I feel it calling for me. <laughs> Very stylish intro so far. I like it. Ever since the accident. What accident? What happened? Whatever I do, I can't stop thinking about this house in Mariana. Mariana? Mar Mari uh, Mariana. Maybe like that. Marianne! Écris! So I answered it. Oh, uh, a moving truck? Oh. 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 We're upside down. Very stylish. I love when movies do that. Oh! 10 out of 10 intro! Good start. I'm into it. F to continue. Hi honey, how are you holding up? You know, taking it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. I couldn't do it. I understand. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. What about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you. Is it like a girlfriend that died? Whoa! Oh! Okay. Um, press tab to pick up your phone. Oh! It's an old phone! <laughs> Like cute. Ah, you can go and reply. Just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and text you later. Cool. M to pick up the map of the house. Oh, look at that. Where's the entrance? Front porch. Oh, I see. Flip. Ah, upstairs. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to hurt your back with the boxes. You got it, mom. Oh wait, can I reply? No. Okay. Well, gotta say, so far, really like the opening. Oh. Grab it. This box is upstairs master bedroom. Oh, so I have to put it in the right room of the house. Living room. Okay, let's start with living room. How do I grab it? Ah, oh. Okay. Um, place it there. Let's let's have a look through the house. Wow. Ooh. VHS tape labeled tape number one, my family. Could probably take this to the VHS player and play it. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in the same house and that, I'm, that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family as they can be seen playing around in the backyard. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. 
There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the ground. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's disingenuous smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them, where they, where they are now. Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine, a world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Hmm. Oh. Everything good? Yeah, all good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of the house. Found this old sex tape. I think it's from the previous people. <laughs> Um, I increased this. Let me just put it back a little bit. Yeah, it looks a little better. Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Not really, though. If you really had to describe it, it's just a family day. You get the weird vibes, but... Basement? Oh, is it locked? The basement door is locked. I wonder if the key's somewhere around the house. Ah! Let's go. Ooh, pretty. Oh, very green. Wow. Room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key's somewhere around the house. Oh, not this one though. Hmm. Who soldiered this house? They didn't give a key from the previous owner or anything? Nothing? Now I'm immediately like, more tapes. Where are they? Give me the tapes. Okay. Did I get a text? Bathroom? Everything is so... Ooh. Green and brown. Now that's a bold choice for your bathroom. Oy. Nothing. Kitchen? Very orange free. Ooh. Wait, does this stove have its own cover? <laughs> do people do that? I bet it's laminated. <laughs> God, check everything. I'm sorry. It has to happen. You never know where there might be another tape. Did I check these? They don't matter. Oh, backyard. Hmm. I guess I should start just putting boxes in the right rooms. Oh no! Oh, the bushes! They stopped me! I haven't checked upstairs yet, though. <laughs> Hello? I guess if I was gonna be really efficient, I could have just carried in a box and checked the room that I'm dumping the box in, but... You know me, curiosity. The boxes are boring, the rooms are interesting. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. If that's how you want to play it. Oh, this is definitely a shining bathroom. 
We haven't had a single drawer yet with something in it, right? So it's probably pointless, but now I'm at the last ones anyway, so... Nothing and... Nothing. Wow. Amazing. Wait. Nothing. <gasps> Can even open the tiny ones. Nice chair. Okay. Empty. Woo! You are fast coming down the stairs. So... This was living room? Living room, yeah. I guess I could put it in a corner. Right? What's the next one? Upstairs, master bedroom. You got it. I can't open the map. It must be this big room, right? Otherwise it wouldn't be a master bedroom. This is a good spot for it. I'm guessing that little marker sound means that I'm putting it down in the right room. What's next? Upstairs guest bedroom. Music. Oh, did we check the mail? No oh, mail. Um, upstairs guest bedroom. Okay. It's the one first room, first door on our left. almost think we are just playing unpacking again and not a horror game. It's very peaceful. Box says downstairs office written on it. Okay. Oh, that's where we there's box little box icons with a check mark on them. Ah. I hope I'm okay. Seems like a tough choice to isolate yourself in a house in the middle of nowhere after Someone close to you died. But they saw this house in their dreams, right? So... Can I put it on the table? Yeah, cool. I thought I heard something clicking. I like how speedy I am. Quick when I want to be. Upstairs, guest bathroom. Okay. You got it. I wonder what kind of stuff is gonna happen. Honestly, it could just be a story about a guy moving on, unpacking his stuff, and that was it, and I would have enjoyed it. <laughs> I would have been fine. Are they enjoying putting boxes in the right places? Really was hoping we'd find more videotapes though. Maybe behind the couch. No. What's the next one? Upstairs, master bed, ba bathroom or bedroom? bathroom. Did you hear that? There was a soft creak. Rats. Did I close this door? Oh, I did. I did. Okay. Oh! Oh! Who's this? It's a lady. Hi. 
Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right-hand side. The husband and I... She pauses for a few seconds. I live there. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me about it? Well, Mariana is a quiet little town, but it's full of beauty. Oh, yes. Make sure you visit the... Aura... Oh, Arasarius? Or a Carius Park, when you have a chance. Beautiful trees there, I see. Also, people here are known for their friendliness. That being said, I hope you understand that we take pride in our traditions. Please don't embarrass us with your differences. <laughs> you look familiar. Do I know you? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe? It's what they say, small world and all. In any case, we know each other now, don't we? Hmm... Okay, so this is just the same. Then I... Can I help you with anything? I couldn't help but notice that the house had been purchased and that the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. That's very nice. Uh, oh, thank you. I would be amazed. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. You can't cite the house. Oh, don't worry. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? The house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. All right then. Now do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, all right? She nods and smiles. Stay there. I would fake eat it. Wouldn't you? I... Oh. I, I wouldn't trust it. Someone who leaves food in your house, you're not even really sure if they're actually your neighbors, could be drugged. Plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Eh, let's do it for the sake of the game. By IRL, I would be like, nah, uh I would just come back and be like, it was delicious, thank you. Throw it in the trash. The note just says, welcome home. I assume it came from the lady. Where'd she go? Oh, okay, now it's getting creepy. As I unloaded the boxes into my new house, I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That, combined with this odd encounter with the neighbor, made me realize I was exhausted. I decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. If you say so. It would have been a little creepier if you were like, suddenly... Uh, I was exhausted. Weirdly exhausted. I have to go to bed for a bit. Because then I would be like, dude, the cookies are drugged. I left my front door open, didn't I? I'm not sure I'll get used to the bed, but I'll, it'll have to do for now. Well, you want us to check on the comfort. No pillow will be impossible for me. Mm. This time, I didn't dream about the house. Probably because I was finally here. I thought I was gonna say I dreamt about my neighbor. <laughs> Creepy lady. So what did you dream about? This time, I had a different dream. Street lights. Ooh, hi. My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. 
Find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water just broke. Are you gonna be, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives me a nervous laugh. She called your mother? No, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there? Of course. Thank you. And please remember the highway is blocked. Please hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Did we get in an accident? Oh god. Oh! Did you lose them both? What's going on? Jessica? Uh. Are we just driving her to the hospital like that? Is that the sunrise? No wait, that would mean we slept the whole night. Dude, what a nap that was. I heard dripping. What a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I heard it while I was asleep. Where is it coming from? Oh god, one of the bathrooms. Oh god. Okay, I need to close all these. Oh, okay. Where is it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from my bathroom. Definitely not here. Is there a downstairs bathroom? Could it be a kitchen faucet? Where is it coming from? Oh, I can't believe I took a nap with my door open. The basement. Oh! A tape. Mm. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I get for buying an old house. I get a weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the constant noise? The water itself? I don't know. Just can't shake this odd feeling I have when thinking about it. I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta get back to bed. Wait. Basement. Where are you exactly? I could take this to anything. Yeah, I want to, but you're not. There's no pickup option. Hmm. Is it a room that's locked, maybe? The downstairs bad bedroom? Yeah, I think that's a locked door and it's leaking through that. Whatever in there... Whatever is in there is leaking. So you just want to go back to bed? Still seems bright out. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll have, I'll have to do for now. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that dripping. Oh, it would drive me insane. You could have at least put a bucket under it or something, if you have one. Maybe you don't even have a bucket. Well then, I would have head to a store and grabbed a bucket. I was expecting you to lecture me on you. Hi, you Good morning. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Oh, dad. Hey, dad. Well, you know. That's like, I don't know, son. Tell me. I know, I'm sorry. How's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It 
It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Upstairs, storage. Okay. We'll go, Buxy! Ah, the morning sun. Did you bring any coffee? Food? see someone standing down the hall. that are like, these books have to go in the upstairs hallway. Okay, let's go look at that tape. Whee! <laughs> also, you're not even wondering why... How come... Oh, the stain's bigger. This basement door was locked. And then you wake up from a nap and it's unlocked? And you don't even question it? Tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement, with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the backyard. The tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fault. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are directing, directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. The way he talks about the events is as if they already happened, but then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? God, that dri dripping is driving me insane. Downstairs bathroom. This one here? Yeah, it must be. Okay. That was an easy one. Last one. Last box. Kitchen. <gasps> easy. Makes me think that he put it like that because he wanted us to... He wanted the last box to be the kitchen box, right? So let's see what's gonna happen. <gasps> Tape. As I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought the house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of that dreadful night, but here I was, in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment I questioned my sanity, so I took a deep breath, letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs, and with a sense of determination I whispered to myself, I'm here now, and I have to make the most of it. Still, I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home, so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place. Well, first we're gonna watch this tape. Rumble. Pretty sure this wasn't here yesterday. You can now open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking. Ooh. Decorating time. Nice. Nice. 
As the tape starts playing, the scene from the scene before me is disorienting and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tapes stand in the, stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and, just as inexplicably, disappear beneath him. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating behind the TV, TV screen and onto my chest, suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt and regret, yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times seems to be a part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there is a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. He stammers feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel like his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being as if we somehow shared consciousness. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed, and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet, I still feel like this was needed somehow. Ooh, dude killed his whole family. Wait, did the note maybe change? No. Okay, first box. Open. Oh. A vase, a fan, a cushion. Okay, cushions are easy. Select. <laughs> Didn't know I was gonna decorate the place. Can we put some music on? Oh, that's a big vase. Uh Oh, so big. Thing is massive. What the heck? Where do you want the fan? Hmm. Maybe just here for now. Hey man, how you doing? Brother-in-law. Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Well, at least you have a lot of nice people checking in on you. Oh, I can rotate it. Look at that. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know, and she hated your gut. <laughs> I'll put them in here. Just barely. <laughs> Can you play music? No. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. But seriously, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. Oh, another vase. Um, where do I want this? Maybe just there. Yeah. It would be nice to put some air on your shins when you're watching TV. Take care. Thanks, man. Oh, that's handy. Books. Ooh. I like it. A DVD player. It's empty. Yeah, cool. Okay, let's look at the bathroom boxes. Put that in the corner. This really is, we're playing on packing again. Medicine. Oh, I need to open the... Oh. 
I can inspect the medicine. Ooh. Well, not anymore. A little waste bin. Oh, if only it would fit there. Towel rack. A lotion flask. Here you go. Empty. Can I like flatten the box, please? <laughs> it annoys me. Okay, good. Ooh, blender. You should really throw those cookies out, you know? Toaster! Cute. Wait. Did the fridge move? Wasn't the fridge to the left of that cooker? Right? Uh oh. Oh no, the music. Is it the creepy lady? Are those birds moving in the back? Oh. Listen to the static. The TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound over the static. Is that someone crying? Someone knocking. I don't see anyone. Do you think when we're hearing that the house is like rearranging things? Oh, <gasps> the door's gone. Windows are disappearing. Doors are disappearing. Do you think the stain is bigger? Oh, it's getting there. It seems to have gotten worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. This constant noise will make me go insane. Yes, it will. open right I'm certain I didn't bring this box with me I have no idea how it got here baby stuff oh no little shoes a gift we got from Jessica's friends a few months ago the mo box is moldy and there's a terrible scent coming from it eternity photo album Baby photo album I bought and was going to give to Jessica. Pages inside are starting to rot. I thought I had gotten rid of this. Painting. Take care. Oh. Insurance prick. This is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Alright, what now? This was Jessica's last painting. She had been feeling uninspired for a while before making this and was determined to never paint again. Which is a shame because I was quite fond of the result. Yeah, it's nice. Jessica's first painting is an art student. She could explain its meaning to me a thousand times and I would still be, not be able to fully grasp it. I still like how it looks. Jessica painted this while traveling with her parents as a teenager. It was still one of her favorites after all this time. Well... I think it came from the basement. Is 
Currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when you have an update. But, oh, there's too many things happening. By the way, sorry if you're lost. Yeah, thanks, Dick. Okay, that was it. Not sure when Jessica painted this. I'm not even sure I've seen it before. Perhaps it's one of the many paintings she ended up hiding from everyone because she was ashamed of how it turned out. Well, if this is her last painting... Can we go hang it in the other room? I don't know if we can, but if this were me, I would want this in the bedroom. Game's trying to be spooky and I'm here like, this should be in a nice spot. There. Okay, now let's go investigate the creepy noise. Basement? I also got a text again. From 942983, nothing. Who is this? Oh, what the? What? But nothing. What is it? What is happening here? This is terrible. This leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon, but I can barely look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating, though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Weird. Creepy. Well, that was the creepy baby stuff. Should we look at the office stuff? Computer. A big telephone. Phone book? Buy the telephone. Let's put it in a cabinet though. Phone books are not that special to look at. CD rack. I wonder how many people who play this game put stuff away in the same way as I do. Not that much stuff. Okay, that was these rooms. <gasps> no, the front door's gone! It was right here! The windows are gone. That's so cool. It's so subtle. Okay, I did the kitchen, right? Did we finish it? No, we didn't. A clay what? Um, what's happening with the music? It sounds really creepy. I don't know what that is, but it fits there. Dude, I keep thinking someone's gonna be in the... in the hallway or something. Fruit bowl, nice. Love me a good fruit bowl. Anything else in here? A mug set. Um, actually, yeah, just leave those together. Matching mugs that were given to Jessica and me as a gift. Two year anniversary. I can't believe it's been two weeks since the act. Only two weeks! God, I can't help but think she's still here right beside me. That's very recent. You were able to buy, find and buy this house in a span of like two weeks? I don't like this one here. I'm gonna put it in this corner. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> I say as I'm... This house is so haunted. Is that knocking? What 
from where? Basement? Shit. I did find it. Oh. What is it? I gotta go towards it. Oh. Okay, now I'm totally swallowed up by it. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Wow. Is that Jessica? Oh, is she coming closer to me? I'm not moving. You gonna turn around? She's really big, isn't she? Oh. So cool. Whoa. Whoa. It's upside down! Cool! Hey, where did my pillows go? Oh, everything is upside down! I can barely see, but everything is upside down. It was your fault. I mean, I know what they're getting at. A disappointment. Why are you saying this? Wait. From to mom. Oh. Thought I was still talking to the mystery number. <gasps> oh, it's starting to look like an arm, kind of. No, 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 no. Jessica, what is you doing? Is she here again? Whoa. These paintings seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen them before. Weird sound. Oh, it's so weird in my left ear. Oh, it's a dead end. Is this a dead end? Yeah. Door. Oh, basement. I think it's growing into a baby. I 
can fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak in the ceiling. Gives it off a horrifying stench that makes me nauseous, lightheaded and disoriented. It looks alive. Oh, it's a baby, all right. No one creepy on the ceiling this time? Oh, you look normal. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest painting I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. I was thinking of you and our baby Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica, do you remember that question I used to ask you? What does God look like? Yeah, what does God look like? It's funny that you were never religious, but you've always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? So sorry for what happened. I see him now, she smiles. I see him and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? I don't. Ah, pity. I wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. I'm trying to forgive myself. Don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. Do you hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. The basement again. I do hear a baby. Look at you, honey. See? I told your father. You're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. I think it's time to let you go. Yeah. No, no. You know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Laura misses you so much and she's hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. I can't see her suffering like this. I, I can't join you. I'm so sorry. She's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. I thought that that was going to kill me. Oop. Store's locked. Oh, oh, she's going in. Do you think they'll unlock the door? Nope. Let family go. Oh. Ah, so depending on what you choose, you either get the green door or the red door. ceiling is clear. The windows are back. Now the question is, did I actually unpack my stuff? I did. Leave the house. Do you want to take any of the paintings? <laughs> it's so funny seeing where I put all the stuff ever since the accident. Guilt has haunted me. Dude, it's been two weeks. Like, give yourself way more time than two weeks. Losing your wife and your unborn baby? Are you kidding me? So I built a labyrinth. And found my way out. Oh, 
Very Silent Hill vibey, isn't it? Like, go to a certain pl place to deal with your past. It really also reminded me of Skin of Rink, the movie. If you haven't seen that and you liked the vibe of this, you might like it, but I do have to say it is, it's not for everyone. It, you either love it or you hate it, I think. That was great. Good ending. Three of five secrets. I don't even know what the secrets were. But yeah, I really liked it. It was... It didn't do any, like, cheap jump scares, but it... It was, like, unsettling nonetheless. For me, at least. I really enjoyed that. And I'm curious what happens when you don't let go and you follow... You let her... You let yourself feed the baby. I feel like it would be cool to maybe see the other ending, but at the same time... So, the reason I'm also recording this is because it's a little shorter than my usual stuff. I haven't been streaming as much because BB's diabetes is still, like, unstable. Um, trying to find the right dose really closely every hour monitoring his glucose. So, um, it's time for his dinner now and his, and his insulin again, so... Normally, I would maybe do another ending, but I do think we've seen, like most of it the atmosphere so i hope you guys are okay with that and of course i also encourage you to check out the game if you want to i think it was free to play yeah it is free to play so definitely follow the link in the video's description if you want to play it yourself the windows are gone decorate the house yourself however you like <laughs> I, d I didn't finish decorating the house fully either so but i did really like it so if you want to get the other ending i definitely encourage you play it yourself as well and that's it <laughs> Thank you so much for watching.